Good morning to you all and I welcome uh, you all to this workshop on jellyfish. As you know that for the past few days we have been uh, attending on the various aspects of the jellyfish uh, diversity and its stocks and it also less on the uh, bloom. And uh, today uh, I would uh, present uh, my collection of uh, jellyfishes uh, as a part of this workshop. And uh, as you know that uh, in CMO Parai, uh, we have been doing this uh, jellyfish research uh, in my leadership from uh, 2010 onwards and uh, here I have collected various uh, cyclosome jellyfishes though we work on various species of jellyfishes uh, including cubosovan and hydrozoan and I would uh, give you only a brief uh, 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 narration of the jellyfish collections what I have in my office at uh, Mandabam Regional Center of uh, Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute uh, in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Uh, jellyfish preservation is an important step for studying its taxonomy. Since jellyfish contains more than 98% of water in its body, so it's important uh, to preserve it uh, properly. And normally, formula preservation is uh, very much used uh, in India, and we are also using the same formula and the 4% formula is sufficient to preserve it but the thing is that since it contains a lot of water in its body you have to replace the formalin frequently at least until the processing is fully done and if you put it once and you just leave it the specimen will disintegrate so after one or two days you have to replace the entire formalin with fresh formalin so that the tissue is properly preserved so i will show you some of my collections which was preserved some four years before still it is in a very good condition so this kind of methods you can also follow uh, for preserving uh, your jellyfish specimens and i will just uh, now give you a uh, uh, view of my collections and then I will go one by one about the details of these jellyfishes. Just uh, you please uh, look at this and uh, you come close. And this is a uh, jellyfish called Marivagia stelleta, uh, which was first described uh, from its Chile coast and later uh, it was reported from Kerala coast. And uh, two years before we have recorded uh, along the east coast especially in Park Bay and Gulf of Munna and uh, for the first time. So the species dispersal is happening very well, uh, very much uh, along our coast also. And yet this was reported only from west coast. Now it is available in the east coast also in uh, stray quantities. And uh, you look at this uh, second one, and this is a uh, very big sized growing jellyfish, uh, Lobonimoides robustus. And I will show you uh, a letter uh, in a tray, putting in a tray. And this one large uh, sized jellyfish. And here. You are looking at a uh, smaller zonals uh, of uh, cyania. So you have already uh, listened about cyania, the lion's man jellyfish, and uh, which is one of the largest size growing jellyfish. Where now you are looking at the smallest size, and uh, this is a cyania species. And here you are looking at another species called cyania lemaki. And uh, for your uh, workshop, uh, our uh, uh, technical staffs have gone to the field and collected it alive and uh, I put it in the uh, tank in a live conditions. You can see the tentacles. You see this is the bell and frilled uh, 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 umbrella and you can see the tentacles. So it is so numerous. The oral arms and the numerous tentacles. So this is the uh, largest size growing species. Uh, so nearly the tentacles can uh, reach when it grows the, to the largest height to several meters length and uh, this is considered to be a, a jellyfish eating jellyfish uh, variety and uh, this is a big nuisance for fishermen operation in fishing and uh, because in uh, today, locally in Tamil Nadu it is called aloe cherry because of its slushiness and it is very slushy and it's very difficult to handle and uh, for studying taxonomy also very difficult and uh, this is in a live condition and uh, now you are looking at another uh, uh, species of cyania that is called cyania nosaki and uh, which we confer it and uh, as a species nosaki and uh, now then another uh, important uh, jellyfish that is called in the trostoma it in the live color it will be in blue uh, and uh, now it is preserved and recently only collected from the Nascodi waters of Park Bay and uh, here you are looking at another important species called Ropilima hispidum this is one of the largest size growing species 
and 8 to 10 kg uh, body mass can come and this is again uh, an important species in a uh, rope lime uh, sculandum is an important edible uh, species of jellyfish uh, much sought after in the southeast asian countries and uh, when you look at uh, the next one is the crumbianula anandeli and uh, dr poliranjan behra study has given a nice brief about it and uh, this uh, was preserved some four years before just uh, use a look at the sturdiness and uh, the texture so because of this reason only the rhizostome jellyfishes are mostly found as edible and uh, even after four years uh, look at the texture and uh, uh, i will show you our taking out uh, from the tank in the uh, tray and here you see I have a smaller acromatous uh, splagellate species collected from the uh, estuarine area along the Devi Patna coast of Park Bay and uh, it is uh, stored in the spirit. So normally you, if you unless or otherwise you want to do molecular work you can uh, preserve in the uh, spirit otherwise you go for normal uh, formalin fixation that is sufficient because the reason is that uh, it will uh, it will uh, the shape and other things will be more deformed in spirit than in formalin. And especially here, then another uh, Susan the later jellyfish mustigia, which has ornamental value and in aquarium trade also it is there and recently collected only. It's a very small uh, sized um, uh, mustigia. So I will show you uh, the live uh, collections uh, in videos when we did the field works. And now here you are looking at a Chrysiora, uh, different actually we record uh, three different color morphs and one of our scientists Dr. Tarachan has confirmed molecular uh, through work. Uh, uh, the presence of Chrysiora chinensis along the Gujarat coast. So, in our Indian waters, we feel that there could be three different uh, color morphs, and maybe uh, the population variations or uh, uh, the species variations which we are continuously working on it. So, as far as uh, the Chrysiora uh, calibra is concerned, since this was described a long back as already in other lectures, it was told, and we are still continuing, but uh, to the total relook of this species has to be done. And uh, so far, uh, we believe that the Chrysiora chinensis and other Chrysiora color maps has to be studied in detail uh, so that we will uh, come to know the species composition of uh, genus Chrysiora in Indian waters. And by far, if you know, the Chrysiora species is the largest uh, uh, swarming uh, species in numbers. When we compare in biomass, other species would come, but in numbers, or both the east and west coast, the Chrysiora is the most dominant species swarming in the Indian coast, as far as number is concerned. And here, this moon jelly, the Aurelia, is uh, shown, and I will show you in detail. And this uh, is also uh, one of the important uh, uh, jellyfish species, Aurelia. And uh, here, when the Crumbionella as again, uh, which uh, supports a fishery, uh, and I will show you uh, how to taking it out. And uh, this was collected along the uh, coast of uh, uh, Toronto coast. Uh, our scientist, uh, Dr. Jasmine, not uh, Zeta Sai uh, Jasmine, and as you know, for also we have a principal scientist named Jasmine. She has collected and uh, uh, given for this workshop. And here, another species of uh, jellyfish called sea Actually, in uh, jellyfish research, so handling is uh, required. You will have to handle the jellyfishes. So, uh, most of them are uh, stinging. As you know, the nidarian species all can sting. Uh, the intensity of sting varies. That only, that much only. But uh, all the species can uh, sting. And so, it is advisable to use always gloves uh, to handle jellyfishes. Now I am using a surgical examination glove and sometimes it may not be possible because uh, there is opening here and sometimes water can enter even the uh, water contains stinging cells also can enter it will be itching. So always when you want to handle jellyfishes and here you look at this uh, one of my technical staff is wearing a gynecological glass, gloves. So this you can uh, put up to the elbow so uh, when you are handling bigger specimen and uh, so you, your hand is uh, protected so no chance of getting uh, water entering inside or even the itching and stinging you can very well present uh, sorry prevent and uh, this uh, species he is holding Marivisia stellata the smaller sized one which was collected from Park Bay waters so Marivisia stellata so use always uh, uh, gynecological gloves so that your hand is uh, protected so the smooth surface in a real color, live coloration will be 
in blue and there won't be any uh, uh, marble structures it will be very smooth there will be some uh, starburst structure in live conditions and here uh, you are looking at uh, another uh, pink color looking when uh, live condition this will be pink and uh, lobo nemoidus uh, robustus in some of the southeast asian countries this is processed and edible and uh, you can see uh, the lot of uh, tubercles uh, on the exemplar surface covering the entire uh, 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 exemplar and uh, it is uh, a moderately stinging type so uh, you have to use always gloves when you are handling this specimen so this is a, a preserved one you see how slushy and how it is uh, very fragile so handling the specimen is uh, requires a very uh, very 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 careful handling so lobo nemoidus robustus okay <laughs> And here, uh, the, as I told you, this is uh, a live cyanea, and uh, you can see uh, its tentacles and uh, oral arms. And here, uh, a preserved one, cyanea uh, nosaki. Uh, please uh, take this. Okay. So, nearly four years old specimens, these are all the gonads, oral arms are all there. And uh, uh, you see, uh, how uh, how much it, it was it used to be very big and now it has uh, lost all its uh, uh, water content so it has shrunk on the size has shrunk on this it and here metrostoma species again this in uh, uh, fresh condition this will be in blue in color and there will be tubercles on its uh, uh, belt so based on this only we differentiate uh, the seeped uh, jellyfishes in a trostoma, marivigia and sheep and uh, they, all are will be in a blue color, color and uh, based on the morphological features and uh, the gastric canal structures we have to differentiate yes please and this is one of another important species uh, largest size growing species in our waters uh, and ropelema hispidum and uh, I, 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 it will, it will, uh, yeah, uh, it's very difficult even to lift it on hand. Uh, 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 it will, it will break, it will break. Uh, yeah, please. Mm -hmm. okay, smaller one you can take. Yeah, yeah. These are all some of the important uh, features which uh, you have to see in the oral arms. And you look at the bell. Uh, so it will be very rough to touch so not smooth uh, like others and it will be small tubercle uh, structures all over the uh, exemplar surface and you can see the lot of uh, this gastric canal structures that you have to inject a dye and study the uh, canal structures uh, to understand its uh, genus and species okay. and here you look at that another one from Benula. Anandeli. So this is what uh, read description work which we have carried out and uh, uh, yeah, you just hold it. You see the, the smooth uh, exemplar and the rigid uh, lapids and uh, in the each ridge there are uh, tubercle structures and the oral arm you see here. So this is a typical structure of uh, uh, Crambianella Anandeli. Yeah. This, you see because of this texture only this is very much you see even after four years it is very rigid and uh, crunchy so it is mostly these uh, jellyfishes are used as salad in southeast asian countries so for that purpose this texture is very much suitable that's why these are all these are uh, one of the non-stinging variety only uh, nevertheless now this is in formulas so it is better to use gloves Price you are uh, those smaller in sizes, some uh, 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 up to 10-15 centimeters only could be found, but they can sting nicely, so it is uh, better to use always gloves when you are handling fresh specimens. It's one of the smallest, as I told you, in three different color morphs we, we have encountered in our water. Okay, so uh, so with this, uh, I would uh, complete the presentation of my collections and I will go to the uh, presentation of other aspects. Thank you. So, the father works up, uh, our team of uh, uh, 
legal people who work at Montgomery Zoo Center also have a lot of work in the field as well as in the laboratory. So just uh, I thank uh, uh, my staffs over here at Montgomery Regional Center of Singapore. Uh, put excellent work. You can see with the specimens how they have uh, taken it out from the uh, collections and they have made it ready for uh, explaining to you all. So I uh, hope that uh, their hard work also helped you to learn uh, much more uh, uh, about the jellyfishes. So uh, uh, with this, I thank my team of uh, technical uh, personnel so, uh, uh, for this uh, their excellent support. Uh, to carry out this uh, jellyfish research in Singapore. Thank you. Thank you.